Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about the three levels of responsibility when it comes to a traffic engineer and what to expect at each level. This video is going to be great for those who are considering a career in traffic engineering or if you want to know a little bit about what traffic engineers do at different stages of their career. I'm going to break this down into three levels of experience. I'm going to also explain each level and then I'm going to talk about some important points to consider at the end. In a sense, this video can relate to civil engineering in general as the concepts I discuss are very similar. Just know that when I mention traffic engineering work, if you're a civil engineer in a different field, substitute your technical work in place with the traffic engineering work. That being said, let's get to it. For the first experience level, I'm going to call entry level. It's a level that you'll typically find yourself if you're just starting out. Nearly everyone starts off at entry level at some point. In traffic engineering, this is usually when you attain your civil engineering degree and you enter the workforce getting your first full-time engineering job. You may be working as a consultant or in the government, but the work is usually similar. The expectations at this level is simple, technical work. And I'll explain what that is in a minute. And I'll also add that it's not only technical work that needs to be learned, but you also need to learn about the processes of your organization and how things are done. It's different for every organization and it's a learning process. Your job is to learn and apply the technical skills needed for traffic engineering. You will learn and familiarize yourself with a lot of the standards that have been established and the context in which they are to be used. You will also most likely be learning from a more experienced traffic engineer. This person should put effort into training and providing support so you can do your job well. So what is traffic engineering work at this level? You will go out to the field and investigate traffic issues and apply critical thinking to solve problems. You'll write emails, you'll make phone calls, and you'll communicate with other coworkers and stakeholders. You'll spend a lot of time reading the standards of the profession. Many of these are established laws and published references. Since traffic engineering has a lot of different areas of work, my first experience was in traffic signals. I learned about how to time them and all the different settings that can be changed. I also had to develop a working knowledge for some very specific software that helped make my job easier. As a traffic engineer, you may be asked to do different kinds of work, but the idea of this level is the same. Maybe you need to learn the details of signing and striping, or your work may be focused on doing traffic safety studies. In all cases, your main focus is to learn and apply the technical skills to get the job done. One mentality that I had that helped me be more comfortable at this level was that I was always searching for training or training classes to take. If your work offers benefits to pay for some of these, use them. I jumped at every opportunity that I could, and I even spent some of my free time reading and learning. Once you spend some time in the entry level, you may start to work in what I call the advanced level. I like to characterize this level by the increased responsibility that you will be taking on. Sometimes it is planned, or sometimes it happens out of circumstance from a need in your organization. It doesn't always mean that your job title changes either. If you find yourself working at the advanced level, you may want to ask for a raise or a promotion because you will be taking on higher level of responsibility. So now that you have honed your technical skills and you have a good understanding of the processes in your organization, when this happens, it is common to be trusted to take on advanced level work. So what is this high responsibility work? Well, it's also not quite the same for every job. For example, instead of working as a staff member of a project, you're asked to start managing projects. As a project manager, you now may have to do more than what you're used to compared to the entry level. You have to keep track of schedules and budgets. You'll even have to run meetings and you'll probably be the main point of contact for certain projects. You may be given the responsibility of managing a small team. Like project management, managing people is not technical work and requires a completely different skill set. But maybe you do work for an organization that requires specialization. One example is you may be seen as a technical expert for a very specific subject and you will be supporting many groups as that technical expert. These are some examples of advanced level work and to me when you start doing more of this work you are in the advanced level. You may still need to do some of the technical work that you were doing in the entry level, but because you have these new responsibilities, you'll have less time to do that work and you'll have to manage your time to do all of your responsibilities. This level also tends to coincide with attaining your civil engineer's license. Although not everyone working at the advanced level may have this. Your boss will still likely be an engineer who has a lot more experience than you. When I was working at this level, I already had my civil engineer's license and I was delivering small projects from beginning to end. I was also responsible for signal timing whole corridors and at a different job, 
I wrote staff reports and did presentations to city council. This is also about the time when I began managing a small team. This will be one of the bigger jumps you'll have to make. And for me, the challenge was getting used to all the new responsibilities you have. So you have to be good at time management and setting your priorities. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about the next level, which I like to call the senior engineer level. You're seen as highly capable in your area of expertise you manage a variety of responsibilities that are important to your organization. The expectations are not only that you will execute and do good work, but you will also do work that pushes the organization forward towards its vision and goals. Less and less you'll be asked to do a very specific task, but you'll be trusted that you'll prioritize and figure out which work is the right work to put your time in and get the right results and not waste time. If you manage small and medium projects in the advanced level, you'll now be managing large and important projects at the senior level. If you manage a small team in the advanced level, now you'll be managing an even larger team. And not only will you be just a employee, you may be seen as a leader. As a traffic engineer, what does senior level work look like. You may be managing a team of other traffic engineers and support staff. You'll be planning and budgeting a large amount of funds and revenue to deliver results. You may be seen as an expert in your organization and even as a leader in your field of expertise. I feel like when I was a city traffic engineer, I was working at this level because I was managing a large amount of traffic engineering programs. There was a big shift in thinking that I had to go through. No longer could I do everything. You really have to make time to prioritize and delegate. And you also have to focus and make sure you're not steering the group in the wrong direction. At this stage, my priorities changed. I was less focused on being an expert traffic engineer, and I was more focused on building, managing, and leading an effective team. There you have it. These three levels, entry, advanced, and senior, summarize how a career as a traffic engineer can progress. I do want to conclude about three very important points when it comes to the levels that I talked about. First, understand that your career as a traffic engineer may not follow this path. There are many different organizations with different structures and needs. What I outlined was based off my own experiences and what I have observed. I myself have mostly worked in the government sector, so that's where a lot of my experiences and observations come from. Secondly, one experience level is not necessarily better than the others, or is it for all people? And that's perfectly fine. Although pay tends to increase at higher levels, I believe there are other things that may be more important in life, like your long-term happiness and reaching other goals in your life that may not have nothing to do with your job. And lastly, there are actually more higher levels than the levels I talked about. But at those higher levels, it is less and less about engineering. So to me, I did not want to include that in this video, which was about traffic engineering. I hope this video helps explain a typical career progression of a traffic engineer. What level are you working at? Or do your observations differ from mine? Please let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.